so that wasn't that special either. Uh, next one is this one, I guess. Oh, Part 4 Eagle! I remember this one. This one, this one was one of my favorites here. Just watch while this happens. This one is spectacular. Okay, watch the second shot. See that? The wind's in my face, so the ball goes higher than I wanted it to. It hits the arch. I hit backspin, so it reverses the backspin into topspin, and it goes into the hole! <laughs> yes! That is how it is done. With luck. Um, Lakitu, Lakitu, Valley, whatever you want to call it. Lakitu. Um, it's another part four with Yoshi, so... Um, this kind of, this kind of eagle is usually a chip-in. <laughs> um, because Yoshi can't hit on the green in two. Without a doubt, can't hit on most part fours in two. I mean, can't get it in in two without a chip-in, excuse me. And... Oh, I backspinned it into the hole. <laughs> Next one is this one. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of these were made by my super-powered character, Neil, there. Um, an eagle on this one, wow. I don't remember getting this one, actually. But an eagle on this one's got to be pretty dang hard. Um, with my super-powered character, Neil, there, I'm able to drive par fours in one shot, so getting an eagle with Neil isn't very special to me. That's why I didn't really lock them. They are literally a dime a dozen. I've gotten scores of like 32 under par on the uh, Lakitu Valley, Lakitu, Lakitu, whatever you want to call it. I always like saying all three names just for the fun of it. <laughs> um, hole four. Wait, what was hole four? Oh, it's, it's this par five. This is how it. Um, this is how to play this hole when you want to get an eagle on it for like the best possible score. For like if you're a really anal at getting uh, low scores in this game, like I used to be. You have to play through that pipe to get on the green in two. No exceptions. Um, so you can sometimes get on the green in two with a character that has a longer drive, like Petey Piranha or Neil, or even Ella from the Game Boy Advance. But uh, otherwise, you're stuck playing through that pipe on this hole for the eagle. As you can see, it's very possible. Uh, some characters can't even reach that pipe. That, was, that wasn't really all that special, besides the fact that I hit through, through the pipe. Wait, another, another hole four? Another part four? Uh, oh, I remember this one. Uh, I, I believe, I don't, oh wait, no, maybe I don't remember this one. Uh, I guess I'll see how it goes. <laughs> so, yeah, I like real. This is Yoshi. He is a dinosaur. He does drugs. That is not very good, and I didn't use any backspin on that shot, evidently. Oh, I got in the back door of the hole, not the front, the sides. Wow. That was pretty odd. Um, I think that's the last eagle I saved, this hole five. What made this one special? I thought this is a par five. Yeah, what's so special about this one? What made me save this one for some reason? I mean, eagles on par fives are pretty common. Um, you just have to get on the green in two, and it has to be decently close to the hole. Um, I, I guess since I'm in the rough on the second shot, maybe that's why I saved this shot. I don't remember. Maybe I chipped it in. I had to have chipped it in, just looking at this one here. Um, so let's see the chip in. Um, yeah. That really wasn't all that special, <laughs> to be honest there. I don't remember why I saved that one. Um, let's go for the holes and ones. Um, I got quite a bit, quite a lot of holes and ones and albatross this year. This, this is kind of fun. It's like going through memory lane. <laughs> uh, this one, this one's really spectacular. Um, because this hole is hard enough to even get close to the hole, let alone get it in. Because of how, um, unbalanced the green is there. Um, these are all going to be one-shot quick holes here, obviously. Lake of Two Valley. Aha, I didn't use all three of them. Uh, hole 16. I remember this one to be pretty straightforward. I miss hit the shot, but it still goes in the hole. No spin whatsoever, it just rolls right up to the hole nicely. Or should say bounces into the hole nicely. Woo! Yoshi's such a happy little dinosaur. Um, Shifting Sands, hole 4. Oh, this one! This one's really hard to even get on the green because of how high the green is, or how elevated, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
is from the tee box that you're hitting to. So he would... Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? It uh, went in the hole and didn't um, didn't even touch the green. It just went straight into the hole on the fly. That was awesome. Uh, it, it even glitched out that rainbow a little bit. It made it like fuzzy and scattered all over the place. I'm sure the camera picked that up. Uh, this evidently wasn't too spectacular because I didn't use any spin, but it still worked out pretty well, I guess, there. I guess be aggressive and you'll get yourself some holes and ones. <clears throat> hole 12, obviously a par 3. You won't see many holes and ones on par 4s, I guarantee that. Um, yeah, baby. Um, I did get some holes and ones on par 4s, which I'm pretty sure I saved, which are probably under the albatrosses down below there. Um, uh, but I'll get to those as I go, obviously. Uh, see those statues next to the tee box area? That's what I was talking about, that when you get a hole and one on a hole, um, it saves it uh, permanently into the game, that it shows that you've got a hole in one on the hole uh, by leaving those statues on the hole forever. Next one, I'm going to canopy hole 12. Holes and ones on this course come pretty easily because of how sharp these holes all are. But uh, that's the point of this pitch to putt course is to get a really low score. Um, holes and ones, if you can get them, uh, you're going to get some awesome scores. I'm pretty sure this is the round of Congo Canopy that I got like a 20 under par. It was a spectacular round, I gotta say. Because I think, yeah, I got uh, all birdies and holes and ones. Two holes and ones for that round. Um, Balls of Badlands, hole 7. Um, what's this? Oh, it's this one with Baby Bowser statue. Um, even though this green is huge, it's pretty dang hard to land the ball on, uh, or I should say get even close to the hole. Oh, wow, it actually bounced up the tier and angled itself right towards the hole. No wonder I saved that one. Um, this one I didn't save for some reason. I don't know why I didn't. Um, let's see. Why didn't I save it? It's probably because I did it with Neil. Neil makes everything easier. <laughs> Uh, at least the way that I raised him. He's got a massive impact area. Oh, yeah. So even if you miss hit your shots, it's still going to be right near next to the hole. Um, hole 16. Wait, isn't this a par 4? Oh, no, it's a par 3. Um, so this is going to be a regular hole in one, so to speak. Uh, I guess um, holes in ones on par 4s really are counted as albatrosses on this uh, highlight reel thing. Um, nothing really special there. I've seen something like that before. Maybe that's why I didn't save it. There wasn't any exceptional mountains or anything like that. Um, so this one's evidently don't have, doesn't have any spin on it whatsoever. <coughs> oh wow. It bounced a whole load of times. Uh, and, and it got up that hill, which is pretty surprising. Um, oh, that's all for the holes and ones. I got more albatrosses than I got holes and ones. Two more albatrosses, wow. Um, PD Piranha here with an albatross on hole nine. This one is a par five, so this is a pretty standard hole and one. Um, albatrosses are most commonly made on par fives, obviously, because they're chippings from a distance on a second shot. Uh, so it's just like hitting on the green in two, except uh, it goes in the hole. <laughs> um, evidently, no spin on this one whatsoever. I was pretty confident with this shot getting near the hole. And there's an albatross. Yeah. I, 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 <clears throat> excuse me. I obviously didn't fill out this highlight reel here. I didn't fill out all 18 spots for all of them, so that's kind of sad. Um, as you can see, with Neil here, I'm able to hit straight up towards the green and curve it around the trees. See that at the bottom right corner of the impact area? And it's coming in for a landing, and it's going to be pretty near the hole, and all I have to do is make that putt for Albatross. That's, uh, th this hole is definitely the easiest hole in the game to get an Albatross on, without a doubt. Just take a character with a high shot, um, with a strong drive, usually a star character with a high shot, and he'll be able to get, or she'll be able to get up to that uh, higher tier of that mountain with one shot without any problem. And that's uh, probably the easiest albatross you possibly could get. This one, oh, it's a, this is a par four. 
Power 4 Albatross is a hole in one. Oh, 329.23 yard hole in one for the win. <laughs> you don't see those very often. Definitely don't see those very often. Then again, Albatrosses don't come very often to begin with. Um, even on that whole eight of Peach's Castle Drones, uh, since this is a power five, I'm obviously going to be hitting at the screen from a distance. And I should say chipping it in from a distance. Uh, and come on, Neil, I know you can do it because, well, it's been saved as an albatross, so I know it's going to happen. It's not like this is live or anything, though it is live commentary. <laughs> Yay! All right! 